The Chinese government says that in the fight against COVID-19 it has always acted with openness, transparency and responsibility and informed the international community in a timely manner. The story starts with SARS severe acute respiratory syndrome and lack of transparency. In November 2002 an outbreak of SARS, the virus is thought to have passed from a bat into a civet cat and into a humans at a market. Then spread into China human factory cities. Professor Yans Hong Senior Fellow, of Global Health the virus took them months to decisive action. However, China said don't worry we are in control. Five months into the outbreak China Minister of Health said that the disease has been brought under control. China doctor admitted. There were many more cases going on. The central government in China now admitted the scope of the problem. By this time SARS have spread to the world. Maria Director of Global Information Studies people were angry the government was not telling them the truth. Professor Lawrence directed national and global health law that China did learn a lesson and will be much more responsive in what is happening. China wanted to make sure it did happen again so they opened a new center for disease. Control. Professor and Director of Infection and Immunity they create a program to new infrastructure for infectious disease surveillance. Professor George Gao, a virologist the head of China CDC in 2017. He says surveillance we have the general centralized data center to know within hours if there's an outbreak. It was supposed to prevent SARS outbreak according to Jens Hong. Professor Edward Holmes infectious diseases and biosecurity colleagues at the Wuhan CDC 2014 said this is the kind of place where emerging microbes may appear he took lots of photos. It was jarring. He saw snacks, rats, raccoon dog and in cages all stacked on top of each other. Doctors put two and two together that if you are in the hospital, you see them together meaning a virus is going on. Virologist Wang read the post before it was deleted from the internet. It might say this patient's samples contain genetic sequence most related bat coronavirus. The person who operated that machine and did the analysis basically sent a red light flash to the boss of the company. Take the Associated Press says the secret of a pathogen is really important because that is what allows people to figure out how quickly the pathogen is spreading. The sequence of a pathogen and create a test to detect the virus. Dr. Maria says this was the first time that the information about the possibility of this virus was shared. New York Dr. Majuri deputy editor had an email from colleagues in Taiwan about the outbreak in China and did America know anything about it? The reaction there was in trouble and she got an emergency post out. Peter infectious team contacted Marjorie and said had it from a good source that it was coronavirus. That it was 20% different from SARS. They knew it was pretty good at transmitting from person to person and a 10% mortality rate. Professor Lipkin says news from George Gao that identified the virus and it was not highly transmissible. He believes that he was wrong and was not lying that he should have just said what he knows so far so that help cure problem better. James Foreign Policy says there was increasing kind of pressure because the outside world was looking. He also says that China urges to control, that belief that the public can't be trusted, is also very kind of ingrained. Dr. Victor Pacific Relations the definition of stability keeps getting escalated, as the ability of the Chinese government to monitor absolutely everything improves. Even some of the thoughts and speeches of Chinese citizens, they are seen as signs of instability. Increasing, even in WeChat, which is a private platform, that kind of deviant speech would be punished, with administrative detention or suspension of accounts. We says when she first started seeing the reports of doctors describing SARS she started researching it online and she could not find anything because the government took it down. Professor. Lawrence says if the government knows about a novel infection that meets the criteria within the international health regulations, coronavirus meets those criteria of international concern and report that to the World Health Organization within 24 hours. 
Dr. Maria COVID-19 technical lead says she got the information on January 1st on the phone trying to understand the situation and what now how badly is the disease happening and where it was happening. Professor Lawrence believes they did not report this truthfully because they did not want restrictions on them. Professor Edwards says virologist Jiang Yongshan Professor Edwards says he was a very friendly, passionate, extraordinarily hardworking scientist who has been working. Since 2012, they used genomic technology to try and understand evolution and diversity, just how many viruses are there? Jiang told Edward it was confirmation that the virus was similar to SARS and therefore likely transmissible between the humans. Edward says Jiang was not allowed to give this information out. Deg says scientists and laboratories was not allowed to speak out on the outbreak. Professor Wang Respiratory and Critical Care says the situation is controllable that the illness was light and they have left the hospital. A care worker says that they knew it was human-to-human -human transmission but they won't be allowed to wear masks because it could scare people. Professor Yance Hong says doctors tried to warn the provincial government leaders but it was blocked because they were fearful of their lives. Deg says the most important moment was January 8th when the Wall Street Journal talked about the coronavirus information which they have not told the World Health organization. The next day a Dr. Gordon from World Health came on and said there be no new cases. However Edward says that Chinese still refuses to bring out the data. Jiang and Edward had no choice to release the sequence so he didn't Chinese. Responded by the international community was now able to act. Dr. Richard Chief Editor when reading through these stories he saw the severity of the disease was shocking. The patients were rapidly deteriorating into multi-organ failure. Admission to intensive care unit and high mortality. The virus was triggering this massive inflammatory explosion, which was damaging the organs of their bodies. Deg says on January 14th China health official, Ma Xiaowei, he told the country, to prepare for a possible pandemic. Dr. Maria presented the information from the data saying there is a chance of human-to-human -human transmission but not 100% sure on that because they are not in Wuhan. Dr. Victor when already preparing for a pandemic China will spread around the world returning to their countries making the case even worse when there was already 62 cases on the ground. No lockdown or travel restrictions was not put on. Gathering continued which was unnecessary. On January 28, China confirmed it now transmitted from human to human by Zhong Nanshan. On January 23, Wuhan went into lockdown. Like, share, comment and subscribe.